Good morning, Philippines. The headlines of today's news. Batangas was shaken by a 5.7 magnitude earthquake, causing a wide destruction of properties and catastrophic loss of lives. To report the whole story on new updates, live at Lipa, Batangas, Yuka Jikanelli Granada reporting. I'm here in Lipa State University, experiencing the bad weather. The epicenter of the earthquake is in 10 kilometers north of Batangas. So far, there are 10 reported died. So I'm here with me, with one of the victims of the earthquake, Ira Colon. Hi, Miss Ira Colon. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Um, what did you do during the earthquake or what is your experience during the earthquake? <laughs> during the earthquake, um, it was very horrible and I saw many students were running and jumping from the building. I never thought that they would jump from the building. And our professor told us to use the dock cover and hold. So we apply it and that's why we slowly going down to the building. I was certain if ever the building will pull up. Thank you, Miss Ira Colon. That's all for our updates. Back to you, Mr. Ivan. Helping us today are the Philippine Institute of Technology and Sismology Chairman and Vice Chairman and as well as Sismologist, Mr. Renzo Kosek and John Dennis. Good morning, Sir Ivan. Good morning, Sir. Last year, October 2013, the province of Bokal was rocked by a 7 meter magnitude of earthquake. So, can you explain to us, Sir? What would be the magnitude of an earthquake 100 times as powerful as the Bohol earthquake? Now let's talk all about the Rector scale. The Rector scale was developed by Charles F. Rector from the California Institute of Technology in 1935, which he defines that the Rector scale is a base 10 logarithmic scale which defines the magnitude of an earthquake as the logarithm of the ratio of A to A sub O. Where, where A is let where A is the amplitude of the seismographic trace of an earthquake or also known as the intensity and A sub O be the amplitude of the smallest detectable earthquake. And now let's call on Mr. Renzo P. Kosip in regarding of your question which he will answer it. Now to answer your question. What would be the magnitude of an earthquake 100 times as powerful as the Bohol earthquake? <clears throat> Since October 15, 2013, the Rector scale recorded a 7.2 magnitude at the Bohol. To know the magnitude, we must use the Rector scale. Magnitude is equal to amplitude or intensity over A sub 0 or initial amplitude. Since we have the given magnitude that we've obtained from the Rector scale, let's substitute M to 7.2. Therefore, our equation will be 7.2 is equal to log of quantity A all over A sub 0. Since we have the amplitude which is 100, we will also substitute 100 from the given equation. So the given magnitude will be log of 100 A all over A sub 0. Since this is a condensed form, we can expand it using property of log number 1, which is to separate the log into two log. So it will be log so it will be log of quantity A all over A sub 0 plus log of 100. Let's, sub let's substitute log of quantity A all over A sub 0 to our first equation which is 7.2 is equal to log of quantity A all over A sub 0. So our equation will be magnitude equals 7.2 plus log of 100. We use our calculator to know the given value of log of 100. It will be 2. So magnitude is equal to 7.2 plus 2 will be 9.2. So therefore, the magnitude of an earthquake 100 times as powerful as the Bohol earthquake is 9.2. How much more powerful was the Bohol earthquake than the Bohol earthquake? Well, Miss Ira Colon, since Batangas was shaken by a 5.7 earthquake today, June 25, 2014, and we knew that the Bohol earthquake as recorded by the Raptor scale has a 7.2 magnitude with respect to its amplitude, Let's anticipate that A sub B be the amplitude of the Batangas earthquake and it would be represented as 5.7 equals log of quantity A sub B all over A sub 0. Then we equate this logarithm to exponential form which would be 10 to the power of 5.7 where A sub 0 is equal to A sub B. 
We do the same on the magnitude of Batangas. Now that a Bohol earthquake is represented as A or 10 to the power of 7.2 and a Batangas earthquake is represented as 10 to the power of 5.7, this could be mathematically represented by using the formula of the Richter scale which would be the magnitude is equal to the A all over A sub B equals 10 to the power of 7.2 A sub 0 all over 10 to the power of 5.7 A sub 0. So as we solve this equation, we can obtain the value of 10 to the power of 1.5 or approximately 31.6228. So therefore, the Bohol earthquake is approximately 32 times more powerful than the Batangas 